Hey Strong Church, I'm Chris. How's it going? I got a question for you today. What does it mean to be a Christian? I mean, sure, we can look in the dictionary and there's several books written on the subject of what it means to be a Christian, but what does God say about it? There's one verse that I'm thinking of that tells us exactly what it means to be a Christian, to be a follower of Christ. And that's Luke 9, 23. Jesus is the one talking here. And he says, if anyone wishes to come after me, he must first deny himself, pick up his cross daily, and then follow me. Now this is a short verse, but there's a lot of stuff happening in there. So let's break it down real quick. First, Jesus says that anyone wishes to come after me. What does it mean to come after Jesus? It's this idea of pursuing, to pursue Jesus. Think of a, a romantic relationship. Think of all the love stories that we have. The, I, I stayed up so long just so I could talk to this person. Or I drove so far just to see this person. Or that I spent so much money because I love this person. That's what it means to pursue. This is what Jesus wants from us. He wants us to stay up so long just to talk to him. He wants us to go so far just to be with him. And he wants us to give up everything because we love him. That's what it means to pursue Jesus. That's what it means to come after him. Next, Jesus says that he must deny himself. Now, if you're denying yourself something, that means you're choosing something else. And if what we're choosing is Jesus, then we have to deny everything else. I don't care what it is, if it's sex or, or drugs, alcohol, video games or pornography, popularity, coffee, fast cars, big houses, a comfortable life, a great career. We have to deny ourselves and choose Jesus. It's this idea of willing to be someone else's slave, to be Jesus's slave. We call him master. We call him Lord. And by doing so, we put ourselves in subjection to him. If we're Jesus's slave, then we don't own any possessions. We don't, we don't get to negotiate with what the master's orders are. If we're a slave for Christ, then that means someone else owns us. If we're a slave for Christ, that means we were bought with a price. We must deny ourselves. Next, Jesus says that he must take up his cross daily. Now this cross Jesus is talking about is not some pretty little necklace. It's, it's not something that people tattoo on their arms. The cross is an instrument of pain and suffering and death. So what does it mean for us to take up our cross daily? Perhaps what Jesus is talking about here is the fact that we need to be willing to die. Because when you're dead, you don't care about what everyone else thinks. You don't care about what you look like. When you're dead, you have nothing else to give. And that's where Jesus wants us. He wants us to be completely sold out on him. That's what it means to take up your cross daily, to be willing to suffer, to be willing to endure the pain, to be willing to die, because that's how important your relationship is with Jesus Christ. And finally, Jesus says that we must follow him. Really, all that we've looked at today could be summed up in these two words, follow me. And if we looked at what we've talked about today, following Jesus is just doing what he has already done. To love people with abandon, to have a fierce faith, and do whatever it takes to save those people that you love. What does it mean to be a Christian? Jesus says that it's to come after him, to deny ourselves, to take up our cross daily. Jesus says that what it means to be a Christian is to follow him. Now, I don't know about you, but Jesus' word is good enough for me. And that's what it means to be a Christian.